Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some interesting update from me from the folks at Blender Foundation and this deals with the scope development update that the folks at Blender Foundation are looking at implementing in upcoming versions of Blender. So one of the nice things that are here is the scope mode painting and color attribute. This was actually seen sometime in, you know, 2.9, 2.93, something like that. And it is quite impressive to see that these will be coming. So the whole idea here is to revamp this entire tool and make it functional with other tool sets that exist within the sculpting brand. So we're looking at things like masking, the face set, some filters, the new brush engine settings, and so much more. And with this said, it is also worth knowing that in previous versions that these actually had its own special type of vertex color. And this wasn't compatible with the previous system, but right now they're looking at ways of combining these two together and making it a single list of color attributes. And these attributes can be created on the vertices, face corners, and also on floating points and bytes. And of course, this looks like the tease of what it's going to look like. And we'll have an attribute that deals with the name, domain, and also the data type. And if you scroll all the way down, you'd also notice that there's a simple painting of what the curvature masking would probably look like. So you can see that we have this beautiful flower and this entire flower, the white streaks was actually painted with the supposed version of this that will be coming. And you can see that we have all of that cavity masking going on within the edges. And this is pretty, pretty impressive. Moving forward, there is also something else that might make a lot of sense for lots of you guys. And this has to do with the edge boundaries. And the edge boundaries will be handled for dynamic topology and all of the smoothing and relaxing brushes will take advantage of this. So most of the times when you're sculpting and you choose to use things like face sets and all that, you would notice that the same sort of breaks and this isn't what you want. And right now they're looking at ways to improve that and give you something that works pretty, pretty nice. So this would also make sure that the boundaries of things like the face sets, the topology boundaries, the seam edges, the sharp edges, and so on and so forth will be kept in place. And while we speak about topology, there is also a talk about the topology rate improvement. So when using the dynamic topology, which is the interpol, the triangulated meshes will follow the surface information much more accurately. So contrary to what we have, you can see what we have going on here as this just simply, you know, cross hatches this entire thing. But if you look at what we'll be getting, it sort of follows the edges a bit more nicely just to conform to what you would probably want. And in addition to make the triangles flow around any boundaries that deals with both open boundaries, the face sets, seams, and so on and so forth, the topology rate also has a new curvature mode. So if there's no edge to guide the triangle flow, the topology rate can use the principal curvature direction of the mesh instead. Now let's talk about the enhanced details. This has actually been a bug and it's quite impressive to see that we now have a fix for it. So the problem was once you smooth inversely, you notice that over time you start getting these weird artifacts instead of enhancing the details and keeping it the way it's supposed to be, but that has been fixed and improved. And of course we will be seeing this in the next release. And one of the things that would give a lot of people joy is the sculpting while previewing your stuff directly in Eevee. And this will be supporting the fast PBVH drawing. Now, of course, sculpting directly in Eevee would make a lot of sense. Taking advantage of Dean Topo and also the multi-resolution will be something that would be extremely lovely, especially once the whole idea of fixing texture drawing gets fixed. And it sort of looks like Dean Topo will be getting lots of improvements with these coming updates as we have something more impressive about Dean Topo that you guys will definitely want to play with once it's available. And the next up is the Dean Topo plus Sculpting API refactoring. So at this point, they're looking at ways to make Dean Topo much more faster and support custom attributes and interpolations that deals with the vertex color, UVs, and also boundaries. So what this simply means is once you're sculpting on a model and you do have the interpol turned on, regardless of the fact that you've made your UVs previously, you know, before you start sculpting, or maybe you've done all of your texturing before sculpting, this would preserve it. It preserves the topology boundaries, the seams and sharp edges, the UV island boundaries, face set boundaries, and also UVs, you know, the entire nine yards, it makes sense. You can now take advantage of the Dean Topo once this gets released, obviously, and uh, sculpt directly on a textured model. High quality stuff, very impressive, and I'm pretty hyped about it. So this is more like it. For those who like to read up on these things, links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.